Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to unbox and take a first look at the Galaxy Note 3. This is on Verizon, comes in at $299 with a two-year contract, so let's take a look at what comes in the box. Now here's the phone itself. It's a huge phone with a 5.7-inch Full HD Super AMOLED display. It has Gorilla Glass 3 on it as well. We'll set this aside for just a moment. Inside the box, we get some typical Verizon literature, get to know your phone, different languages, product safety and warranty info, and consumer information, all sorts of different things that come along with it. And then we have something more unique to this phone is in the bottom here we have a USB 3.0 port so this is a USB 3.0 cable to USB 3 you can see it has the blue color to it for USB 3 and then we have a wall adapter typical wall adapter from Samsung and then we have looks like some new tips for the S Pen included with the Note 3. I remember these on the Note 2 as well, and then a way to remove them, a little tool for that. So it looks like that's everything that comes with it. And this will work backward compatible in older USB ports so you can charge your phone. It just won't be as fast as USB 3. Now that we have everything out of the way, I wanted to show you how big this phone is. This is a huge phone, and it may not look that big in my hands. It may look like a normal size phone. So let me bring in another phone to show you. Here is the iPhone 5S. Here is the Moto X to give you an idea of size. So it's a huge phone. Like I said before, it's a 5.7 inch display and it comes with quite a few impressive specs. So let's go over those. This is the LTE version, obviously. It's on Verizon and it comes with Android Jelly Bean. We'll boot it up in a moment, but it has a 2.3 gigahertz quad core processor with three gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. And you've also got this back that comes off just like the Note 2. You can expand this up to 64 gigabytes more storage if you buy a micro SD card. It also has a gigantic battery in it. And the battery is a 3200 milliamp hour battery. It's good for up to 24 hours of usage in 21 days of standby. So in theory, this should last a very long time for most people. Now, since we have it on the back here, you can see we have a new 13 megapixel camera with flash. And on the front, we have a two megapixel forward facing camera. This back has kind of a leathery feel to it and it's extremely thin, but let's talk more about the phone and the ports. So on the side, we have our typical sleep wake button. On the top, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a microphone, an IR blaster. We have a volume button on this side. On the bottom, we have our USB 3.0 port. We have our microphone, we have a speaker here, and we have the S Pen, and we have another speaker over here. Let's pull the S Pen out. See, here's the S Pen. And then this design is a little bit different than the Note 2. It's got these little ridges around it, and it's really nice. Let's take the screen protector or the covering off the front, and let's compare it quickly to the Note 2. So in my right hand is the Note 2, in my left hand, obviously, the Note 3. You can see they've squared it off a little bit enlarged the screen a little bit, but haven't really widened the phone at all. It actually feels a little bit lighter in my left hand. That may or may not be the case, but you can see on the back here, a little bit different design, but I'd be curious to hear which one you like better. Obviously the Note 3 has a better spec list and it also has a 1080p display, which I forgot to mention. So that should be pretty impressive. We'll boot this up in another video, but I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on the Note 3 in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.